Today's Living Word with Pastor Arlen. Today, let's again look at prayer in Ephesians 6.18. I'm going to read it from the New King James Version. We had looked at it last week, last time, regarding thanksgiving, the prayer of thanksgiving. So here it says, praying always with all prayer. So we know there's various types of prayer. We looked at the prayer of thanksgiving. There's the prayer of intercession, prayer of supplication, etc. So prayer and supplication in the Spirit, meaning directed by the Holy Spirit. Being watchful to this end with all perseverance. So that means we have to stick with it. We have to persevere in prayer because we know our enemy, Satan, goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. We've looked at the full armor that we have to put on and the truth that we are new creatures in Christ, identifying with Jesus, knowing this is the armor Jesus had on, and we know that he did use prayer and was in prayer a lot for all the saints. So we need confidence in prayer. And we get that as we know who we are in Christ. So we looked at this, we also have prayer, knowing that prayer is just communicating with our Heavenly Father. And it's two-way conversation, and it develops an intimate relationship with Him. We all found out in 1 John 5, 14 to 15, and I'm going to read it out of the Amplified Classic. We looked at it before, but I want to look at it again. And this is the confidence, the assurance. So we have assurance here, the privilege of boldness. We can be bold coming to the throne of grace, which we have in him. We are sure that if we ask anything, make any requests according to his will, in agreement with his own plan, he listens to and hears us. You know, there's no point in praying if we don't think God's going to hear us. There's no point in praying and talking to him if we're not going to get an answer. He's there. We know. It says assuredly, he will answer us. He will hear us. And if we positively know that he listens to us, just take that for example, the assurance, the love of our Father. We can know that He absolutely, positively hears us. In whatever we ask, we also know with settled and absolute knowledge that we have granted us, as our present possession, the request we made of Him. Now remember, the key is to pray according to His will. The best way to do that is to find a scripture that's according to His will. Now we can intercede, there is a prayer of intercession for others, but remember, we're not controlling people. God doesn't control people. We all have a will. And so you can pray for your own needs and pray scriptures over others. But just because you want something for somebody else, they also have to get their will involved in it as well. And the next prayer we're going to be looking at is praying in the spirit, praying in other tongues.